Hey guys, here we go. I'm just going to throw a little video on. I like to have it too. Truck's going to be running. It's going to be kind of loud. This is a, uh, I think he's got 15, 1600 miles on it since the rebuild. Well, we didn't rebuild. We just resealed, you know, studs, all that stuff and resealed it. That's going to be kind of loud. I'm just going to do a little uh, video inspection. Uh, check. We, we did have concerns with oil leaking out of the turbo, so I was planning on putting a turbo on. Well, it didn't quite work that way because right now I cannot duplicate the oil leak problem, so I just, I'm just i going to have the customer take the truck. If he sees even a single drip anywhere, I'll, and I'll show the drips. It's going to be kind of loud because I'm letting the truck run, but I'll show you where the drips were and how they have not gotten worse. Here underneath the turbo, grab my light. Here underneath the turbo, we've got a spot that is concerning. Right there at my finger. It. And that splatter, that little bit of splatter right there. So that's cons that's a little, you know, just a little bit of splatter. But I'm going to get underneath the truck and I'll show you the, uh, this is, he's had it about two months, but he has not driven it very much. I guess uh, maybe, maybe 1,500, maybe 2,000 miles, something like that, but... Show you what it should look like. Looks like you got a power steering leak. Gearbox a little wet. Let's go to the back. That's what the bell housing is supposed to look like, guys. I think he's driven enough to knock off the oil that I used to reinstall all the O-rings. I think I'm going to need to take it to the car wash. view you can see up there I normally I'll take this just for inspection just to inspect everything and I don't know I'll probably post it I normally post everything you guys know but this is where it's at is 
that little bit and there I mean obviously it's been running right now it's not wet Too close to get it to focus. Uh, I think there might be nothing on that joint. That looks like the ship stuff from the U joint. We got it here too. Splattering over from the U joint because we put a. If you look, spicers. We went back with spicers in his, uh, but. That little bit was where it was leaking from. And I'm not sure that it wasn't just from the initial install. I'm ready to put a turbo in it, but no use in uh, spending his money if it's not verifiably blown, because, you know, I just can't, I just can't see doing that. There's a good picture of it. It looks wet, but it's not. All right, one more place to look, and then we're gonna... Last place, I mean, you know, obviously his... His soot. Nothing wet. Like our hose there. Well, thought I'd throw a video of it. This is uh, about 1,500, maybe 2,000 miles after uh, we rebuilt it. Well, after we resealed it, we did not touch. Uh, we did not replace any rings or bearings or pistons. Yeah, I don't mind the air filter there. That's not me. Somebody else. And uh, I didn't. I told him I wouldn't put that on my truck, but. You know, he kind of got paid, he got charged for it, so letting him have it. I didn't take it out and drop kick it like I wanted to. But, there we go guys, another video for you.